Holly, here she comes, it's little Sire Mahone, ladies and gentlemen! Thank you, thank you. How are you all tonight? Good. Uh, so, my name is Sire, and I'm a 35 year old mom, and a wife, and a business owner. And recently, I've been thinking about age a lot. I mean, I'm no spring chicken anymore, however, I did used to think that. Uh, until recent events in my life have kind of uh, made me think alternatively and I thought I'll share a few of those experiences with you tonight. So last week I went to Finland with my team to a conference and um, we went to this Microsoft building where there was this old Nokia telephones or mobile phones laid from the newest to the oldest ones and I saw my first mobile phone in there, the big fat Nokia phone, and it was so lovely. All these good memories came back to me, flooding. And then uh, one of my younger team members said, Oh, look at that phone! My granny used to have that! Oh, bless! And I was like, yeah, I used to have that. Fired her on a spot. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, so I was on my way back from uh, Finland to the UK, and then uh, my husband gives me a call. And he's like, Oh, when you come home, wifey, I have a surprise for you. And I was like, Oh, what is it? Chocolates, flowers, lingerie. And he was, uh, No, I bought you an orthopedic pillow. <laughs> an orthopedic pillow. I mean, a granny pillow, right? Is it that fucking clear, looking at me, that I'm halfway down the grave already? <laughs> God, I mean, seriously. So anyway, uh, that's that. It's not the only thing that has been kind of bustling my mind lately. Talking about smartphones, uh, my smartphone keeps on keeping my life entertaining. And um, especially the autocorrect function in it. I mean, I'm sure, seeing that you like your smartphones over there, you probably have your own encounters with the autocorrect function. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, I was going into this pension seminar, which obviously is highly rele relevant to me, woman of my age. And uh, my smartphone decided to correct a little bit and uh, I was going to a penis seminar. <laughs> yeah, so uh, obviously all of my team members and my client base now knows what I'm getting up to. Um, but actually sometimes I do think that my, my smartphone knows me better than I do. The other night I was going for a drink with my friend and I thought um, I'll just send her a quick message saying I'll get a drink before she arrives. And uh, My smartphone sent her a text message saying I'll be getting drunk before you arrive. <laughs> Fair enough. True as well. So anyway, um, one more thing I want to share with you. I mean, I am a mom, so I do believe one of the most confusing things about life and most challenging things about life is being a parent. Not sure how many of you here are parents tonight, but I'm sure you can relate to me. The little things in life, suddenly when you become a parent, take a huge twist and turn. Let's take, for example, going to the toilet. I mean, it's a basic human need. You people who are not parents, you probably don't even think about it. You have to go to the toilet, do your business, get out of the toilet and move on with your life. <laughs> but uh, become a parent and uh, you never go to the toilet on your own again. I mean, the kids, they follow you in there, don't they? You know? My daughter, she follows me into the toilet. She observes me. She smells me, makes comments, and uh, listens to me. So, you know, um, I never really done my business fully for the past six years. Which is why I'm really, really happy to be here tonight, because uh, I will be frequently going to the toilet. And, uh, yeah, so thank you for listening to me. You've been great. Have a good night. Yay!